Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Fast Cabling. Today, we're diving into an important topic, how to choose the right security camera for parking lot. Now, whether you're managing a small lot or a massive parking structure, having the right surveillance setup is crucial. And if you need help enhance your parking lot security setup or any other tech projects, feel free to contact us for a free tech design consultation. And our expert will help you design the perfect security system tailored to your specific need. So click the link in the description box below to get started today. So security cameras in parking lots play a vital role in deterring crime, monitoring activities, and providing valuable evidence if an incident occurs. So let's explore the different types of security cameras and how to choose the best one for your needs. First up, let's talk about the IP cameras. Now these are highly recommended for parking lots. IP cameras offer high resolution and can easily integrate into your network system, providing remote access. Although they can cost a little more and require a network infrastructure, but they are the best for parking lots needing high resolution footage and remote monitoring capabilities. So next, let's break down the different camera types. Now we have the dome shaped camera. Now this camera a discrete window of assistance and offering a wide field of view. The Doom camera are ideal for areas requiring a wide coverage and vandal resistance, such as entries and exit points. But the downside is that the installation may be more complex since they're often installing on a ceiling and also has limited range. Now let's take a look to our bullet camera. Now those are the bullet camera because it has the shape just like a bullet. And these cameras are highly visible, which can act as a deterrent and can easily be installed and they're best for monitoring specific areas like parking lanes and entrances. However, they're more susceptible to tampering and are less discreet. And lastly, we have our PDZ camera that's pan, tilt, and zoom. This camera can be remotely controlled to cover a large areas and have 30 times zoom capability. And the PDZ camera are perfect for large parking lots where active monitoring is possible. And the downside is they can be a little bit more expensive. And now let's discuss the essential features that you should look for in a parking lot camera. Night vision. Now it is crucial for 24-7 surveillance, especially in a low light condition like parking lot. So you should look for infrared IR capability with a range of at least 100 feet for large areas. And also you can consider the color night vision for even better clarity. Next is the smart detection. Now it helps save storage and makes reviewing footage easier. So you should look for cameras with adjustable sensitivity and features that can distinguish between humans and vehicles. And weatherproofing is also essential to ensure cameras function effectively in all weather conditions. So you should look for an IP65 or higher rating and durable housing materials. And resolution is important for identifying faces and license plates, so a minimum of 1080p is recommended. But higher resolution like 4K are ideal for detailed footage. And a field of view can determine that the area covered by the camera, a wider angle like 90 to 120 degrees are great for general surveillance, while a narrower angles are better for focused monitoring. So you should consider a camera with motorized or manual zoom lenses, because this allows you to adjust the focus and the field of view to suit your specific needs. 
So now let's talk about camera placement for maximum coverage. For standard coverage, you can mount your cameras at 8 to 12 feet high, that's 2.5 to 3.5 meters, because it's suitable for general surveillance and it has a good balance between the coverage and the detail. But for entrances and exit, it is important to capture clear images of vehicles and people entering and leaving. So you should mount your cameras at 10 to 20 feet. That's 3 to 6 meters. So you can capture the detail at your entrance and exit points. And you can also use bullet or doom shade cameras. They are recommended. You can position them at a height to avoid obstruction and angle them to capture a clear images of vehicles and faces. And for parking lanes, you need to monitor activity and capture incidents within the lot. So a bullet camera or a dome shape camera can work well there. And you can install them on a pole or building at interval to cover the length of each lane, ensuring overlapping the field of view. And for a wide coverage, you can position them on the 12 to 20 feet, that's 3.5 to 6 meters. So you can have a large area to get a comprehensive view of the parking lot. And to monitor the perimeter for unauthorized access or suspicious activity, dome shape camera or the PDZ cameras are recommended. You can place them on the boundary facing outward and focus on high-risk area prone to incidents such as thief or vandalism. And PDZ cameras are ideal for this spot due to their pan, tilt, and zoom capability. So you can ensure no areas are left unmonitored. And you should conduct a thorough survey to identify and place additional cameras to cover the blind spots. So now we're in front of the demonstration board. Behind me, we have the dome shape camera, the bullet camera, and the PDZ camera. Now, all our camera has advanced features like human and vehicle detection that can significantly enhance your surveillance setup and making it easier to focus on relevant activity. So now here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the footage from different camera types and the resolution to help you see the differences in clarity. Now looking at channel number one here, this is our PDZ camera. This is our bullet camera. And this one here is our dome shape camera. Now you can see the dome shape camera is mounted on the ceiling so we can see everything from top. This is the bullet camera. This one here is manual adjustable and I already adjust the focus. Last but not least, we have the PDZ camera. The PDZ camera offer pan, tilt and zoom capability by right click it go to the PDZ control. Now we can move around the camera by pressing the arrows. It can go left and right, and also up and down. And let's try to zoom in. This one here has a 30 times zoom capability. So I'm going to press this plus button all the way. As you can see, after zooming in 30 times, now we can even see the barcodes and the words on the boxes that is so far away. So you can also press the minus to zoom it back out for a wider angle. And to activate human detection or vehicle detection, all you need to do is right click it. Go to the main menu, alarm under intelligent alert, here we have enable, just check it, and we can start the motion detection recording. Just hit OK to enable it. And for vehicle detection, all you need to do is right click it. After alarm, we have the vehicle detection features. Just click enable, and now you have the vehicle detection mode on.
And as you can see, our security camera system is using PoE technology that's power over Ethernet. However, it has 100 meters distance limitation, so setting up cameras over a longer distance can be challenging. In this case, you can use a long-range PoE switch, a wireless network bridge, or a solar power solution, they all can help. And solar power is especially beneficial for remote locations without easy access to power. And before we wrap up, here are some final tips. Now you can use a mix of camera types for comprehensive coverage and ensure there's adequate lighting to complement night vision capability. Also make sure your recording system has enough storage and that you can easily access and review the footage. And there you have it! everything you need to know to choose the right security camera for a parking lot. Now if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech tips, and hit the bell icon for a notification. And thank you very much for watching and stay secure. Also, feel free to drop any questions or comment below. And I'll see you in the next video.